The following is an address by Minister for Social Development, the Honorable Sylvester Qualis, to mark the 35th anniversary of International Women's Day. Today, March 8, 2010, has been designated by the United Nations as International Women's Day. The celebration of International Women's Day started in 1975 to recognize the individual or the invaluable contributions made by women towards strengthening international peace and security, equality, social progress, and the full enjoyment of human rights and fundamental freedoms, which are prerequisites for the active participation and development of all women. The 35th anniversary of International Women's Day is being celebrated today under the theme Equal Rights, Equal Opportunities, Progress for All. This theme encompasses a dream of every woman. However, full appreciation and recognition for its accomplishment are still to be realized. Throughout the years, women have struggled for better family life, peace, equality, and justice with the ultimate goal of making the world a better place. This dream continues to elude them since it is seen as a threat to the status of men. The socialization of humanity which sought to keep women in submission to men is still seen as the main obstacle towards a peaceful coexistence between the sexes. Women have for generations played a pivotal role in all the achievements accomplished by men. The statement, and I quote, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world, and behind every successful man is a woman, be a testimony to that fact. Those statements are profound, yet the reality of equality between the sexes is continuously ignored in many parts of the world. Today, as we celebrate the efforts of our women, we are obligated to encourage girls and young women to educate themselves and aspire to be the best that they can be. We implore parents to continue making the sacrifices necessary to educate their children, teaching them to love, respect, and support each other, to aspire, build, and to take advantage of every opportunity to develop themselves regardless of their socioeconomic status. The present global economic crisis is creating a significant negative impact on our society. Families are challenged with the loss of jobs or reduction in working hours by heads of households and the resultant loss of earnings. To compound the situation even more is the advent of what can be considered a serious drought season. With this impending crisis of food security, there is a need for groups and civil society to form partnerships. There is also need to develop strategic plans to raise and manage extra budgetary resources to cushion the impact. If we fail to do so, women and girls would be more adversely affected than men. Therefore, it is imperative that we devise innovative ways to utilize our natural resources to feed and sustain our families. Becoming small business entrepreneurs or even battering can be considered. We should seek the advice of our senior citizens or consult with some of the NGOs or the Grenada Industrial Development Corporation, GIDC, for business development ideas. Manufacturing of our local resources can reduce our high import bill and bring numerous economic benefits to our people. In an effort to protect our women, the Ministry of Social Development, GINO, and other social partners are working feverishly to advocate a change in attitude of our male folks towards women. Towards this end, four workshops were conducted to train police officers of different ranks to adequately handle domestic violence cases. Other activities included implementation of the Domestic Violence Act, development of the Sexual Harassment Bill, establishment of a temporary shelter, 
social support systems, and various media programs. Despite all these programs and activities, the culture of gross disrespect for women and girls continue unabated in our society. To make matters worse, many reported cases of acts of violence and abuse are perpetrated by persons entrusted with the responsibility to protect and serve. To add insult to injury, victims claim that when they report on these cases, the perpetrators are informed and protected by their colleagues, thereby exposing victims to greater abuse with no apparent means of recourse. When crimes are totally dependent upon perpetrators for their livelihood, they are unable to perceive any alternative. This cannot continue. We must always say no to any form of violence, regardless to who is the perpetrators. As we review and contemplate on the theme, equal rights, equal opportunities, progress for all, we need to take a closer look at ourselves, our goals and our aspiration to build a nation of love and togetherness. The task is ours to work hand in hand in support of each other, embracing every member of our family. Women are our greatest assets. They are the pillar of our family life. Therefore, if we love and support our women folk as God directed, those virtues will be replicated. This will allow us to nurture healthier and happier families and provide a peaceful environment on which to build our nation. As we join hands with the international community to celebrate women's achievements, it is therefore my greatest pleasure to wish every woman in the state of Grenada and women all over the world a happy Women's Day. May God bless, enlighten, and strengthen you as you strive to remove every barrier which deprives you of the full enjoyment of equal rights and opportunities in all areas of our development. May God bless you and bless our nation. I thank you. The proceeding was an address by Minister for Social Development, the Honorable Sylvester Qualis, to mark the 35th anniversary of International Women's Day.